The title is not clickbait, these are insanely useful. Also, today marks the sixth year of creating Funnel Cut content on YouTube, and I want to thank each and every one of you. I'm grateful for you. I couldn't have done this without you guys. But like we do on the channel, we got to cut out the fluff and jump straight into it. I realized there was a little bit of fluff there, but let's go. You can use this tip for a lot of things, but here's what I use it the most for. So if you want to replay a section of your timeline, perhaps you're trying to line up this sound effect with this transition, but you hate having to move your playhead, press play, move the sound effect, move the playhead again to press play, and so on, just hit Command L, which loops playback as indicated by this arrow icon around the play button. Hit the shortcut shift and question mark, and this replays a few seconds before and a few seconds after the position of your playhead for as long as you want. Basically on a loop. So now you can go in and hit period or comma to nudge your sound effect to the right or left to line it up perfectly. You can also use this time to dial in your volume by pressing the shortcut control minus to lower a decibel and control plus to raise a decibel. Compound clips are really useful and a great way to keep your timeline organized. But here is the problem with them. If you want to use this compound clip again at this part in your video to hop into the copied compound clip, maybe move this pin pop up if you're going to show someplace new. But once you hop out, you'll notice that the original compound clip was also changed. That is a problem. So the solution is simple. Before you make any changes, Go to clip and select reference new parent clip. The reference new parent clip button lets you duplicate a compound clip so you can edit it without affecting the original or the others. And little bonus tip because I'm shamelessly desperate for you to like this video. If you don't want this compound clip anymore, you can go to clip and hit break apart clip items or hit the shortcut shift command G. And bada bing bada boom, no more compound clip. If you want to copy different effects, your color grade, etc., from one clip to the next, you don't have to do the normal process of pressing Command C to copy, pressing that clip that you want to transfer to, and pressing Shift Command V anymore. Now, all we have to do is take the effects in the inspector window and literally drag them to the viewport when the playhead is over the clip that we want to add them to. You can also take them and drag them on the clip or multiple clips on your timeline. Let's say you want to use the same transition again later in your video. All you have to do is hold Option and drag to quick copy that transition to wherever you would like. All the adjustments that you made to it will be copied over as well. So if you change the color of things, that's transferred over too. And if you didn't already know, you can do the same thing with clips or just about anything on your timeline. Hold Option and drag and it makes an immediate and identical copy of whatever you selected. So you're editing a part of your project and you're like, hey, I really could use that title or pop-up that I used earlier for this part of the video. So you make the long journey to where that pop-up is on your timeline, you copy it, and you make the long journey back to paste it. Save yourself some time and hassle by just placing your cursor above your timeline after copying it, and it has to be above your timeline for this to work, and just hit the right arrow key. You'll be transported back to where your playhead is, so then you can just press Option V to paste that title or pop-up above your timeline. Another option is to just place your cursor above your timeline and just press Option V to paste what you copied, and it will instantly paste wherever your playhead is. But as you can see, you still have to press the right arrow key to teleport back to your playhead. So it's up to you in which order you do things. Fonica Pro allows you to essentially add sticky notes to clips and even just small sections of clips by pressing Command K, which brings up your keyword shortcut editor, and then typing in what you want the sticky note to say. So as a very basic example, let's add the keyword happy because this section of this clip shows some happy kids. Let's say you think this section of this clip could also use that same happy sticky note. Hit Command K and you can actually just hit this button or press the shortcut Control 1 to add that same keyword to this new section. And once you've gone through your media, you can expand your event, press the keyword collection that you want, and now you have all of your media that will give your viewers happy feelings, already trimmed essentially, and ready to be used. This is just a small taste of what you can do with keywords, and I didn't even touch on smart collections, so I'll put a video in the description that you can watch after this that will improve the way you edit. 
This is a small but hopefully useful tip. Say you press Ctrl T to add a basic title to your project and you hop into the inspector window to change the font. Don't scroll to find the font you normally use. Don't do it, don't scroll. Just start typing the name of it. So for example, I like to use the font Inter. So once I type in INT on my keyboard, it pops up instantly. And then I can just quickly press Enter to select it. The same goes for your effects and transitions browser actually. You just have to select the sidebar, type in the first two or three letters of the plugin pack or the custom folder that you made and it'll take you right to it. Let's say you're customizing the color of things in a plugin that you're using. And by the way, you can double click this inspector window to make it way bigger so you can see what you're doing. Let's say you want this subtitle color to be the same as this title color. Instead of double clicking and guessing what color the title is, or even taking the time to use the picker to select the exact color of the element, make your life easier by just dragging this title color palette to the subtitle color palette. This also works if your color palette selector isn't transferring over to your plugin. I'm not sure why this occurs, maybe Final Cut is just in a bad mood when this happens, but the solution is just to drag from this to the color swatch square that you want to change. Some FCP users still don't know about this tip, so I think it's useful to bring this up again. By holding the grave key, also known as the tilde key, you can freely move and adjust your media without having the magnetic timeline suck other things with it. Essentially, you're temporarily turning off the magnetic timeline when you press this key. For example, if I perform a slip edit here by pressing T to bring up the trim tool and sliding, all the attached media on this clip moves with it. But if I hold the grave key, we're golden. And little fun fact, if you hold the grave key and then press shift, this handy feature will stay on even when you're not pressing this button. Let me know if that's a new one for you in the comments. So you added a LUT and some effects on a clip of yours to create a look. But what if there's a different LUT and an effect that looks better? What if color grading the clip yourself looks better? When you select your clip and press option Y, this shortcut creates what's called an audition, which basically lets you create a carousel of different options that you can use to test out different looks. Think of it like making versions of your clip. So now I'll choose another one of my filmic LUTs and make any changes that I want to the mix or grade. Maybe delete that effect that we added. We'll create another look option by pressing option Y again. And maybe we actually color grade the clip this time and throw on some different effects. And here's where the magic happens. Now when we press control option and either right or the left arrow, you'll be able to instantly slide between your different options so you can choose which look works best for you. And to remember this keyboard shortcut better, think I want to control which option is in my video and then right or left arrow key. But wait, there's more. Use that replay loop trick that we learned previously in this video and you can cycle through your options while your video is playing out. Hit that subscribe button to make sure you save yourself some time and headache while editing and to support the six years of Final Cut content that I've been putting out and watch this video to learn three useful ways to use the magnetic mask. Thank you guys so much for the support and have a great rest of your day.